Hi, Joe Hood here with a quick video for our CS3D users. I just received a phone call from an oral surgeon client of mine asking if there was a way to digitally remove the spine from the 3D rendering of a large field scan so that he could visualize the scan looking from posterior to anterior. And there's a couple ways to do that, and I'm going to show you how. The first tool you can use, basically what he wants to do is remove this portion of the 3D rendering so that he can visualize looking in this direction uh, unimpaired. So the first tool I'd recommend, you'll find it on the orthogonal slicing tab. It's called the region of interest tool. And you have an option of, of creating a 2D or 3D region of interest. So I'm going to create a 3D region of interest. When you click on that icon, it will open up the 3D rendering in a separate window and you'll have these two tools to choose from. And basically, you're going to draw, with a series of left clicks, a polyline and, and, and close it to either preserve what's inside the polyline or preserve what's outside the polyline. Before you choose one of these two tools, you want to orient the change the orientation of the rendering so that you can visualize what you want to re remove. And then you choose the tool that you want. So again, a series of left clicks, double click when you finished, and everything that's inside of that line we just created will be, it's not removed or deleted, it's just hidden right now. So when we hit OK, now you'll see that that portion is gone. He'd be able to visualize looking posterior to anterior without the spine being in the way. And that region of interest is displayed over here where we can display it or hide it okay so that's one way the second way is with a tool in the oblique slicing tab a cropping tool so when we click on this tool you'll see this box appear each side of the box has a, a, a landmark or a icon that you can grab to bring that side of the box in and crop out anything that will be outside the box so in this case what I'll do is change the angulation so that the back edge of the box is perpendicular to the spine. I'll grab that marker on the back of the box and just slowly slide it in until what I would like to remove is removed. That might be a little quicker way to do what we're trying to do here. So that's two ways to do that. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's a video you'd like me to make for you.